A Washington artist will be designing the new Chief Bemidji statue. The Parks and Trails Commission approved the artist's model Tuesday. Jamil Donath gives us a closer look at this sculpture and the community effort to create a statue that represents the true Chief Bemidji. All in favor say aye. 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 Parks and Trails Commission members approved the Chief Bemidji Statue Committee's final pick of Washington artist Gareth Curtis to design a new Chief Bemidji statue. The final artist was awesome. I mean, I can't even describe the, the, the work that he did on that statue. He did that statue from his heart. Chief Bemidji's great-great-grandson, Donald J. Hedberg, said there were many worthy candidates, but the committee took notice to Curtis's emotional connection to the project. He did a lot of research um, that we didn't even ask for about um, Bemidji cultural heritage, and I think that showed in his presentation. Aside from the difference in height, the new bronze sculpture will be a much more lifelike representation of Chief Bemidji himself. I thought it would be best to get a statue of Chief Bemidji that really shows his true character and him as a person, you know, what he did. After two years of gathering community input and fundraising, the committee has raised about 75 percent of the total $119,000 cost of the statue. We have gotten contributions from $15 to $10,000 and Everybody can be part of this statue project. With only a few rough edges to smooth out, the Bemidji community is hopeful that its new Chief Bemidji statue is closer than ever to coming home. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The artist's design will go before the Bemidji City Council for approval at its regular meeting on May 21st. For more information, visit the Chief Bemidji Statue Project on the City of Bemidji's website. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.